And the first campaign we have launches on January 16th, and this one's called Temerity. And this plays two players and takes about 5 to 30 minutes to play. And this is a head-to-head -head strategy card game, but unlike a lot of those other head-to-head -head card games, you're not actually trying to defeat your opponent, you're just trying to string together enough combos and add enough multipliers to create the biggest attack possible. Whichever player is able to create the biggest attack before the cards run out wins the game. And the way that this game works is that each round, players are going to be dealt 5 cards, and then on your turn, you're able to place one card face up in order to activate it or instead you can place a card face down in order to save it for a future turn. Once you've chosen which of those two you want to do, you can also optionally reveal one of the face down cards that you've placed down in a previous turn. Whenever you reveal a face down card, it's going to get activated so you can issue attack power both from the card that you revealed face up and by revealing one that you have previously put face down. The only difference is that these cards are multi-purpose, so if you choose to play them one way or another, you're going to get a completely different effect. And there's three types of cards in this game, the fairies, the warlocks, and the spirits. And I'll go through each one of those and let you know first what their ability will be if you were to just activate it straight from your hand versus if you were to put it face down and then reveal it on a future turn. And your fairy cards are where your attack power is going to come from, so if you're playing one of those directly from your hand, it's going to have some amount of power associated with it that you're going to issue onto your opponent. If you instead choose to put that card face down and reveal it later, you can actually use that instead to reflect an attack back at your opponent. And this can happen back and forth repeatedly, where you deflect an attack and it gets deflected back at you, and you'll have to handle that accordingly. The spirits don't have attack power of their own, but they do have multipliers, so if you're playing one directly from your hand, it's going to increase the attack power of your fairy cards. If you were to put one of these face down and reveal it later, you can actually use it to destroy face down cards of your opponent. And then finally there's the warlocks, and these actually allow you to steal spirit cards from your opponent, but if you're going to put it face down and then reveal it later, it's going to allow you to destroy face up cards of your opponents. And then play continues like this back and forth until the deck of cards has run out, and then the player that was able to issue the largest attack before the end of the game wins the game. And if you want to see more, I have links to all these campaigns in the description below.